Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be how to reduce double cut lines when you're making name tags uh, and you want to save material and you would think a little bit of time, but here are six name tags that are just individually butted up against each other. And regardless if you had them spaced out or not, um, it's going to cut this line here twice because it's going around the corner. And originally I thought this video would really help with time, but it really doesn't help with time. But if you were, it would save you a little bit of time, but not that big a deal. But it's going to save possible charring. So what I've done here. I've made these name tags where this is all, this is going to cut all in a consecutive line and then it's going to go back and cut these individual lines and it works pretty well and it is minutely a little bit better in the charring and I think I'm going to make this a two part video because there's also this way where you actually have a continuous line and then it goes back and cuts. but. I haven't yet figured out how to get it to cut in order. It will cut this line after you weld it together or actually combine it together all in one line. Then it's going to go back and cut, but it's going to in sporadically cut this one, cut that one, cut that one, go back over here. So it really doesn't save you that much time, but it is a pretty neat effect. And some of you might be saying, well, it's going to be more trouble than it's worth. And I kind of agree with you, but if you want to kind of play around with this I thought I'd show you how to do this um, so I've got six name tags here that are individually and this is kind of like an old age old age problem we've been trying to figure out for a while but I'm just going to take a two lines and draw two lines then I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key and I'm going to delete the center line from each of them And the reason I'm doing that, I'll show you in just a second. So now I'm going to delete my line I drew. And I'm going to delete that line I drew. Then I'm going to zoom in here. And I'm going to get my shape tool. And by cutting that line, you can delete these two nodes. And it'll only delete those two nodes. You actually have to click on it twice to get rid of both of them on both sides because you're actually working with two different objects. And like I said, this isn't that big a deal. Uh, it's not going to save you a, a lot of runtime unless you do it a lot. And it will save you a little bit of charring. So this will all run and then if you would these are actually separated, but if you can weld them together and you can try weld or combine, I'm going to go with combine, and it should cut all that out in one section. Then very easily, just take your two-point line and go from, make sure you get on the node and stop at node. Don't go past it. And um, I would zoom in if I was doing this for real. But as long as you go from node to node, so it's going to go and cut the outside, and it's going to go cut the inside. So there are no double lines. And if you have a perfectly flat laser bit, it wouldn't really matter. But if, if you have a little bit of dip, and you're, this name tag cuts out and falls, and it goes back and cuts it again, it might have a little bit of charring. So this is the first video on this. Stay tuned for the second part, which will be how to do this. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.